All right, 2734 Chinchilla, starting out with the drone footage. And uh, take that in. I mean, this whole neighborhood, the houses are, they're fantastic. But again, just by driving around and looking at them, you don't know how big they really are on the inside. So they are pretty big. Um, besides that, take in the snow footage. So <laughs> we're going to be rolling in the March, I'm guessing, and I still have snow on the ground. But uh, it does look nice. So there is the entire neighborhood. You can see where it is. And again, this one is very, very close to the Pennsylvania border. So there you go. See all that? You can actually see the river right there in the top left, which is nice. And really just cruising around the whole, the whole neighborhood. So things I saw in the house and when I did the inside tour, um, the backyard is nice and flat, which is great. There is a carport, which is fantastic. And uh, at the end of the day, another special shout out to the listing agents, Ed and Bev, they already did a Matterport model. So, I mean, while you're taking in this drone footage, just for a lot of people following me now, uh, Pennsylvania did shut down for basically two months last year. Um, so it is a great way to, you know, still show a house, especially in, in inclement weathers, because you can go into that model and measure. So it's just a fantastic tool. Check it out. But uh, here we are. <laughs> We're going to fly right up to the house. You see their sign right there. And uh, after that, I'm going to rotate a little bit to the left just to get it fully in the frame. And then we're gonna start the boots on the ground tour. So here we go. All right, 2734 Chinchilla Drive. Check this out. Very, very close to the Pennsylvania border. And permission by both Ed and Bev Schmidt. There's a sign right there, they're the listing agents. And I gotta say, they did a amazing job with this one. So as soon as I asked for permission to do this, they actually already had a lot of stuff done, which I was pleasantly surprised by. And there, there is a Matterport model. So they already did that. And that is one of the best ways, in my personal opinion, to really get a feel of a house. So let's jump in to see what I see, uh, besides the snow. <laughs> Large backyard, fenced in. All right, carport area there. You can walk out from back here. Everything looks nice, neat, and clean in the snow. Check the disclosure, as always, uh, but that may be original siding. That is a more updated AC unit. Again, all, all these comments are my personal opinion. Years of doing home renovations myself, and now years of doing real estate. So, really nice backyard. The gas meter was on the other side, by the way. Just want to do the uh, exterior tour and then take our boots off in this inclement weather. Cool. All right, so door there, door here, and that's the one we're going to go in. Let's just see the front of the house again and actually show you a little bit of the neighborhood here. There we are. Nice early morning blue skies. Let's get you inside. All right, and we just stepped in. Let's go into the kitchen and spin you around. So we did come in that side door, right there off of the carport. And check this out. This is pretty big. There is the kitchen, has some recessed lights. Fairly certain those cabinets are solid hardwood. I'll check. Ah, ha, ha. Straight from the Matterport model, I love it. There is the uh, floor plan. So fantastic. Gas cooking. Newer windows. And uh, let me spin you around here. This should be the pantry. And that's deep. That's fairly deep. With shelves all the way up. So there we are. That's a real sizable kitchen. Down the road if you wanted to. I mean, plenty of room for an island the way it's set up. But there you go. Uh, clean, neat, and simple the way it is. Let me back into here so we're in the dining room. Check out the floors. They're finished light. They look really nice, especially with this light blue color in here. And you do have a chair rail. So we're in the dining room, and I already mentioned the windows, but these are newer vinyl double class. And again, another deceiving home uh, in a good way. 
outside, you know, it doesn't make it look that big, but this, this is roomy. So here you go. That's the view. So there's your real front door, I will say, from the front of the house. And this is your coat closet. Hardwood floors, finished through there as well. Newer six panel doors. Let me spin you around. Hand sanitizer on my hands at all times. All right, cool. So let's venture this way. Right away I see the pull down stairs for the attic. And then one, two, and three bedrooms and a bath. So let's go in the corner one. Again, the hardwood floors. It's kind of good I have my socks on. I can slide around here. But they are finished, or I should say refinished, beautifully. It's a big room here, closet, ceiling fan. And then we have the bath. Oh, wow. that's, that's a bigger than the usual tub. I think sometimes they're 30 inches. I would measure and remember. Everything I say is my personal opinion. I think that one's a little wider. That might be 32. It definitely looks newer, updated. Uh, the shower. Good size sink there. I mean, down the road, if you wanted to, plenty of room to even make that a double sink. You know, if, if you need a newer toilet. And a cabinet right there. Good size bathroom. Very clean. All right. Bedroom number two is right here. Nice one size. Very sizable. So two closets, ceiling fan. All right, and remember, hardwood floors throughout. Just like to keep calling that out. Here should be your linen closet. There you go. And another linen closet or I mean, just additional closet. Because you have a coat closet as soon as you come in, too. All right, so a closet space and then the third bedroom. So, looking out your backyard, here we are. You can see the size of this closet, too, by the way, there, by the whole length of this. Ceiling fan as well. All right. Here we go. The hanging room, back to the kitchen. And then, down to the basement. All right, this definitely looks like newer carpet. Oh, nice. Nice, finished. And this is the unfinished section. Let's see this first. So, all right, your laundry's here. Some pit. I believe that's a battery backup system. This is basement sentry. Yeah, I'll double check that. All right, electric dryer. Here is your panel. Wow. I, I like how they mark it, good. Some people actually don't know that. Huh. Looks like a lot of room if you wanna expand. That's what I'm saying. Cool. All right, and, and then big unfinished pod. Yeah, that matches outside. I believe that was a good min unit. So there you go, gas fed. Definitely looks newer. Heater, okay, look at that. Service by Horizon, good local company. There's your gas water heater. The humidifier drains right there so you don't have to empty it. All right, and check this out. Even more unfinished space. And around the whole perimeter for what I'm seeing, from what I'm seeing, you have a French drain. So, here we go. There's your water line coming in, your water meter, and then we're gonna go in this way. Just checking that out. And go to the finished part. So, if you really need a fourth bedroom, or you're trying to pull it off, or just a play area, this is a big room. Let me go all the way over here and show you. Three windows. So remember, this is where we came down the steps. Went into the unfinished zone. Into the finished zone. And they uh, added a full bath here. It's a nice shower. 
There you are. Hey, you need an office space down here, place for kiddos, place for family members, or just, you know, an extra bonus room. You got it here. And by the way, I'm still five foot 10, plenty of head clearance. So there you go. I'm gonna make sure I hand sanitize and turn the lights off, leave it as I found it. Oh, this is great. Ready to move in. All right. So you can see up the steps, back into the kitchen. And there we are. So I will leave you for the inside right here. And I uh, think I'll add some drone footage. All right, we're back outside. And I realized I missed something. So I wanted to add it in. As you can see here, this didn't go anywhere in the kitchen. It's really just a extra space here. Use it as a shed. So if you want to store a lawn over there or something, I mean, honestly, whatever can fit, have at it. But uh, always want to be complete. So there you go. Back in the back of the house. We'll take you around to the front. And uh, then we're going to add in the drone footage. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful with the snow. Again, another shout out to Ed and Bev. Fantastic. There we are.